It's finally time for the highly requested Nongshim Premium Noodle Soup Shin Black with Beef Bone Broth Review 2.0. I have never had such a response from people saying the bagged one is better. So I'm reviewing it again, this time with a bag instead of a cup. It's essentially the same noodle, putting the whole two servings per container garbage that bothers me so much. Appropriate serving size is irrelevant when we both know this entire thing is going into my body. Sheesh. Rant aside, these noodles are as simple as any. Inside the bag, you'll find three packets, including a vegetable mix, two different soup bases, and the famously tasty Nongshim noodles. As I suspected, the vegetable packet is just onions and mushrooms, so I'm gonna do this before adding the two separate soup bases to my bowl. The Sulang Tang soup base, I have no idea how to say that, is kind of a pale yellow similar to bouillon, but much less fragrant than I expected. The regular Shin soup base is, I think, just regular Shin soup base, and it's as red and peppery as ever. To cook the noodles, boil them for four minutes. Al dente is better because they'll continue cooking in the broth. Then mix everything together in the bowl. The result will be a slightly less vibrant red soup that smells well, less funky than it did last time, but still a little funky. Whoa, whoa, is that a totally rad Gamer Meg shirt? That's so cool. Maybe they're available in the description. Now to business. These noodles are exactly the quality I would expect. And the more that I sniff them, the more I can forgive the smell of the broth. It's a lot less distracting when coupled with the spiciness of the standard soup base's hot peppers and not diluted by cardboardy noodles. All right, moment of truth. My first bite is... Spicy. And there's definitely more flavor than just beef underneath it. It's layered and complicated, but it's still just okay. Further sampling proves that it really is a totally decent bowl of noodles, but I'm having a hard time not comparing it to Shimran Yun, which is a noodle I personally buy in bulk. It's similar, but decidedly less delicious. I almost want to say these noodles are a diluted version of standard Shin, better suited for people who want something less spicy and less intense. If I'm critiquing the broth directly, it's, oh, holy crap, it went directly down my throat and now I'm dying. <clears throat> if I'm critiquing the broth directly, I honestly feel the same way. Very tasty, but not quite as good as Shin. All right, no more comparisons. I need to stop comparing, it's not fair. These noodles, as a standalone, if there were no other noodles before them, are delightful. The noodle itself is high quality and flavorful, and the spices from the peppers really set a high standard for the broth, which is smooth, deep, and surprisingly complex. I have no problem at all emptying the entire bowl because they were great. So there you have it. A re-examination of Shin Black. It's good, I admit it. But it's still not as good as Shin Ramyun, and you won't change my mind. So until the next time I retry a noodle I've already tried, stay sweet.